Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to check whether the given number is a perfect number or not. So what exactly is a perfect number? Let me explain this with an example. So what exactly is a perfect number? Let me explain this with an example. Let's take a number six guys. How to check whether this six is a perfect number or not? Let me explain. So what are all the divisors of this six guys? You can divide this six with one and get the remainder zero. One six is a six, you'll get the remainder zero. So one is a device, one of the divisor of the six. Similarly, two also same thing. Two three is a six, six minus six is equal to zero. Remainder is coming as zero, so two is also a divisor. Now coming to the third one, three. Three is also a divisor guys, because three to the six, you are getting the remainder zero. What about four? Four ones are four, you are getting remainder twos. So four is not the successful divisor of the six. So the next number, five. Five also you'll get the remainder one. Five ones are five, six minus five is one. So even five is also not the successful divisor. Now, finally, the number itself, that is six. Six one the six, you'll get the remainder zero. These are all the divisors of the number six. Now, to check whether the given number six is a perfect number or not, what we have to do is, we have to consider all the divisors except this six itself, okay? We need to add all the divisors of this number six except itself, because six is also a divisor of six except itself we need to add the divisor so when you add this uh, remaining divisors uh, except six so that is one two three one plus two is three three plus three is six so what you are getting as a result guys six when you add all the divisors of the given number except itself and if you are getting the same number then this number can be called as a perfect number similarly you can take another example guys for example 28 is 28 a perfect number or not how to find yes let's find it out one is a 120 1 into 28 is equal to 28 so remainder 0 2 uh, also 2 ones are 2 14 are 28 fine what about 3 is 3 possible so here 3 7s are 21 3 8s are 24 3 9s are 27 so it's not possible 3 you are getting remainder 1 so then we'll go with 4 guys so what about 4 4 uh, 4 10 uh, 4 fives are 20, 4 6 are 24, 4 7 are 28. So 4 is also a successful divisor. 4 7 are 28, you'll get the remainder 0. Coming to 5, no. 5 5 is a 25, 3 is a remainder. 6, no. Okay. Uh, yeah, 6, no. 6 3 is 18, 6 4 is a 24, so not possible. Fine, uh, you'll get the remainder 4, so 6 is not possible. 7 4 is a 28 is possible. So again, 7 is possible. Then coming to 8. 8 3 is a 24, so you'll get the remainder 4, not possible. Like that, we have to keep on doing, guys, till we get the number. Okay, kind of. So 9, 9 3 is a 27, you'll get the remainder 1. 10, 10 to the 20, remainder 8. 11, no. 11 to the 22, 12 to the 24. 13, 13 to the 26, remainder 2 is coming. 14, 14 to the 28. Yes, 14 is a successful, re successful divisor because you are getting the remainder 0. Coming to 15, 15 ones are 15, remaining thing is a reminder, so not possible. 16, 16 ones are 16 to the 32 is coming, so it's not possible. Even 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Finally, 28 will come, guys. Okay, after 1, 2, 4, uh, 7, 14, the next number is 28. Except itself, that is, except 28, if you add all the remaining divisors. That is 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 7 is 14, 14 plus 14 is 28. Again, you are getting the same number 28 guys. So 28 is also a perfect number. If you take another example, which is not a perfect number, let's say 10 guys. So if you find out the divisors, successful divisors, 1 10s are 10, yes, 2 5s are 10, 0. And uh, 3 doesn't come, 4, 4 also doesn't come, 4 to the 8, so reminder 2. Uh, then 5, yeah, 5 will come, 5 to the 10. Then 6 will not come, 7 will not come, 8 will not come, 9 will not come, and finally 10 will come. And except itself means this 10 should be striked off. And remaining numbers, you just add it. 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 plus 1 is 8. You're getting the result as 8, guys, which is not equal to 10. Hence, 10 is not a perfect number. The 6 and 28 are perfect numbers. So we need to write a Java program to check whether the given number is a perfect number or not. Now you understood, right? What exactly is a perfect number? Let's find it out by writing the program. So for that, guys, uh, we'll intake this input from the user guess, the, whatever the number to check whether the given number is a perfect number or not, that number will intake from the user. For doing so, we need to create an object for the scanner class. Scanner class will allow us to 
intake the inputs from the user. For that reason, we need to create an object for the scanner class and hover the mouse on scanner and import it from java.util. And this constructor cannot be empty. We need to provide system dot in inside the constructor to resolve this error. After that, we need to write a kind of print statement uh, asking the user to enter any number. Okay. By looking at this particular text in the output, user will try to input any number. Okay. By looking at this particular text in the output, user will try to input any number. Let's say user is trying to input a number like uh, six. So this inputted number by the user need to be integrated into the program. For that, we need to take this scanner object and uh, this type of the number that user is uh, inputting is an integer number. So we have to use a method known as next int. Next int command of the scanner class will integrate the inputs from the user case, integer inputs from the user. So next int will integrate the integer inputs from the user. So once this uh, input is captured by this next int, we can store that into a variable case. So here we can say number is equal to and create local variable. So whatever the inputted number that will be stored into the number at the end. So once you intake all the required inputs from the user, we need to close this scanner object. So let's close like this scanner dot close done. So the first step is done. We have intake and the input from the user and stored into the variable. Now let's check whether this inputted number is a perfect number or not. How to check? We have to write the logic for checking whether the given number is a perfect number or not. How to check? For that, guys, what we'll do is we'll create a simple for loop for int starting from one, guys. You see, every here six, if you want to start dividing, you have to start with the number one till six, right? Till less than six. Six should not be considered. It should not be considered six. If you take the number 28, we have to start from one till 27, we have to try to divide, but 28, you should not consider. Okay, even though 28 successfully divides uh, 28 by remaining, by giving the remainder as zero, but we should not consider 28. So we'll write the uh, for loop in the same way, starting from i is equal to one. This i is a divisor kind of thing, guys. Okay, till i less than the given number. Okay, we should not uh, divide the same number by itself. So for that reason, less than number I am writing. Then i plus plus will keep on incrementing until okay that condition is met. Then here we'll write if if this number if you are dividing this number with i and if you are getting the reminder zero, okay if you are getting the reminder zero, then what do you have to do? You have to sum up something here. Here we'll create something like int sum is equal to zero first. Now here we'll say sum is equal to sum plus i this divisor will add, okay? If this particular divisor is successfully dividing this number by giving the remainder zero, then we'll add the divisor to the final sum, guys. That's the logic, simple, okay? So like that, we have to write. And finally, after this complete for loop is done, some sum will come up, guys, like this. Uh, one plus two plus three will be happened. So resultant six will may be there. So now here, we need to check whether this given number is equal to the sum, finalized sum or not. For that, we have to write a if condition saying, if, number is equal to the resultant sum of the divisors then simply print out saying system.out.println given number is a perfect number otherwise you have to print system.out.println given number is not a perfect number like this we have to write down okay the code so this is fine guys, uh, we are done with the logic for writing and checking whether the given number is a perfect number or not. Now let's run the code to see whether this logic will work or not. This should work. When I run this code, you see in the output, we are getting a kind of statement asking the user to enter any number. After the user sees this particular text, he will try to enter a number, like, let's say six and press enter. The moment uh, the user enter, uh, presses enter, this output should be printed. Given number is a perfect number should be printed. You see, given number is a perfect number because already explained, right? Six is a perfect number because when you add all the divisors of the six except itself, then you are getting six. So six is a perfect number. So this program is working fine. Now let's run it again. This time let's give another perfect number. Another perfect number example is 28. So let's give 28 this time and press enter. You should get 28 is a perfect number. Done. Now let's give some non-perfect number like uh, 10. 10 is not a perfect number. So let's check whether this program is printing given number is not a perfect number or not. Let's run this. I'll enter 10 this time is not a perfect number. Okay. So hope guys you understood how to write a Java program to check whether 
the given number is a perfect number or not so that's it guys thank you bye